you are about to witness 18 holes of some of the best, most challenging golf you will ever see on YouTube. This is gonna be special. And today, guys, on the next 100 tour, you join us at London Links Golf Course, just north of Edinburgh, but just south of St. Andrews. Chris, what have we got in the bag today? I've got some sea golf balls. Are we going to go to yeah. SD05 for these Zero links five. conditions? I'm this not. has to be one of the last links courses we play on this series, you think, because we've played so many so far. We have also in the bag, what we've got is some uh, wine gums, just purchased those. Delightful. And we have a nice iron brew for later when in Rome. Right. Um, first hole, as you can see, bunkers on the right, dog legs slightly to the left, ocean on the left as well. Let's lead away. I think it might have to be a little driving iron. One of the new ones. I'm also going to go SD05 today. Huge thanks to the guys at Seed for supporting this series. I think it might have to be driver though. Oh, the brake's not on. I think it might have to be driver though, because that looks longer than I anticipated. Okay, Chris, I'll let you lead us away. Find a fair way if you can. It's going to be on the fairway, but it's going to be a long way in, I think. It's going to be an extremely long way in. I am going to go driver still. Oh, sold me down the river. Sold me it was a driver. Are we blaming the six hour drive? Not yet. Oh, it's a chaser. Low linksy one. That is a shot. That's perfect. And as we depart from the first tee here at London Lynx, guys, make sure you do stay tuned for all 18 holes here at this gorgeous golf course. Chris has crashed twice already with, with this push me, pull me trolley, but there's some spectacular holes on here, especially on the ocean front. Guys, comment below what are we going to shoot? Can we get to the top of that leaderboard and beat Goswick Lynx? I think we might be able to give it a go, although it doesn't feel like it's playing easy today with the elements. Okay, I managed to avoid these bunkers down the right-hand side of this fairway. This hole plays a lot longer than what it looks off the tee, actually. What do we have in? Must be around 150. 152 playing 170. Oh, that's a nice six iron all day. Into that wind. Playing 170. Yeah. Eagle. Are they out already? I can't believe we're not in on the first green and they're out already. No, Oh, is it a black to start? Two black to start with a yellow. Black. It's plenty of black. Not a red to be seen. Only seagulls. Nice crisp one to kick us off. Stay there. I think he's up there. It is. Nice dinner. With the 301 CBs this week for me. Great shot. Great shot. Be I just wish I could strike a blade like that, Chris. Well, it has been said before. Natural ball striker. You better believe it. It's what the wine gums did, actually. That early wine gums never fails. Right, mine's run down towards the second tee. Chris, yours is nicely in the middle of the green. I think we'll go with that one for an opener. Look at that view. Certainly not an easy one to start with. Huge green. A huge green. It is, to be fair, but... In the middle of it, on the first, not bad. Oh, it's like he's alright with that stroke. We'll reset. What's outside I'm going from the right? Go on then. Oh, great pace. Bad. Stay up. Oh, referee. Good four. Ah, close. The part on the opening hole at London Links, I honestly thought we had that as well. I've got a feeling this is going to be a bit more of a difficult day. Some of the Links courses we've played so far, we had really calm conditions. We're a little bit later on in the year now. This is anything but calm. Woolly hat weather. I'm not sure it's woolly hat weather well. just yet. Okay guys, second hole, another par four, 345 yard, stroke index 11. You can see a really well bunkered fairway here as well. And I'm not sure if that's a crossing or a little water hazard. I think it might just be a crossing so people can get to the sea. And then another gorgeous bunkered green, both left and right. I think this is screaming out for this bad boy and try and keep it under that wind. Gorgeous. Cutting a bit, but gorgeous. 
Yeah, that is fine. There's a four iron. What you have you got? My uh, pebble. Well, you're going to say no then. I'm going to have to walk all the way back to that green. I've hit your pebble. Oh, yeah. You can hit my pebble. I'm now a four, you're a two. Oh, that's going to go one shot. It's going to be the order of the day, I think, isn't it? Yeah, a chaser. Okay, two very similar tee shots on this second hole, leaving us a lovely angle in to that green. Who's as who's? It's you again we take. Oh! In fairness, I hit the two iron, were you the three iron? Four iron. Four iron? Mm. Lovely. 141 playing 145 into the wind. Mm. We're chipper six again, you know. I'll see where you go first, actually. Just try and land it like 130, but under the wind. Let's see. You certainly can. Like that. With the SD05 and the CBs. That was gorgeous, wasn't it? Great shot. I love Lynx Golf. Chris has gone for a different approach, but it's all over it. Ooh, just short left, Chris. Hmm, struck it Great well. Great effort, though. Had to keep it down, really. Did you try eight? Yes, yeah, strong yeah. wind up there. That's one thing I really like about these, and I say it every episode, versatility, top notch. It's a good job we did hit the irons, because that is, in fact, a hazard. Perception. Hmm. Excellent. Can we discuss that six iron, Chris, from back there for distance control? Perfect shot, that one. Sometimes golf's more about just hitting a number, hitting a shot instead. Right, chance, big chance. And Chris, I'm not getting my wine gums out until we make a birdie. Mine are nearly gone. Are they? They might even be gone, to be honest. <laughs> Strange, it looks like it should be right to left, but it's left to right. Oh. The eyes are deceiving. Do you think? There's a lot of seagulls around. A swarm of seagulls, is that what they're called? I think they will. Oh, get the wine guns out. Woo! And that's a birdie on my own, Chris. What's the forfeit this trip? This is a brand new trip, by the way, if you've been watching the series. What a green this is. You've wasted that one, but... Gotta get me iron. And it's in. Wine One guns. under. Right, let's see what we've got in store on the opening pack. Is it a red to kick things off? Orange. I think it's got to be red. Oh, it is orange. Well, it's yellow. But then we've got two reds followed up. I'm having them. Oh, that's three up one. Okay, third hole stroke index 14, another par four, just 312 yards today. We are off the white tees, they're playing a little bit forward. Exceptionally well bunkered both left and right side. Chris, take us away. Great shot. I feel like your natural trajectory is getting caught out today. It's just got battered in the wind, doesn't it? It has there, unfortunately. But, interaction. This is definitely up there with Gullen, isn't it? With conditions wise. It is, yeah. Fantastic. I mean, weather conditions. Ah, breezy, a little bit of drizzle. I think we'll be using yours, Chris. Is it under the wind, that one? Under the wind, mate, yeah. I just tried to keep that a bit low. <laughs> Safe, but a long way out. I think that was a sugar rush from the three wine gums at once. Okay. Triple threat. Two reds. Uh, two reds and an orange. Oh, that's never a good start. I'm going to have to just bring myself back down now. You need some sugar free. Well, that's why I went for it, Iron Chris. I thought I went in Rome, but not go for full hog kind of thing. Is that it? Yeah. Not that you just didn't see it had a silver lid on it. That's exactly what it was. Right, Chris, we're taking yours here, just in the left hand rough, but not in a bad position. Mine was way back mm. there. It wasn't the best strike. Around 120. Into the wind, but we're sheltered a little bit. We need to make sure that we realise as soon as it gets over, those dunes were struggling. Not like your last shot. It's when you're fresh off a birdie, I was just still a bit... Off the train? Yeah. Off the train. The train's well and truly back in the station, mate. Pulled it a bit on the lie. 
Yeah, it's over the bunker. That's, if that's flag high, it won't be too bad, actually. No, not bad. Six iron. Yeah, I feel like today's more about shot making than just hitting aimless numbers. It's a great flight. Be the number. Oh, I tell you what, Christopher. It is the number. <laughs> you know right. what? I'm going to treat myself. Another wine gun, what colour green I'm going? Oh, no. Oh, you've dropped a black. Two second rule. Black and a red. Oh. This guy is out of control. Yorkie, raisin and biscuit. Out of control. You're going to run out, really? Four holes in. I know, but once it's gone, it's gone, isn't it? Once it's gone, it's gone. Chris has a nice shot just on the left hand side of the green. Mine's run on a little bit, but I think that's still a chance with how we've both been putting on these wonderful greens, I must say, here at London Lynx. Some great stopping power there as well. We've got a little knockdown nine. Four combination nine combination working nicely. Not that far. It's never really moved that, you know. Yeah, I'll try to come back at the end. Go on, go on, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh! Hmm. Great effort. Par. Par. One under. Okay, that's one under part through three. We've hit pretty much every green so far. We've realised we've just missed that green in regulation. So um, I was going to say the target today is to hit every green in regulation and not have to use the Skyforger wedges too much. But I've just realised that we missed that one. The dream's dead already. By an inch, but an inch is an inch, Chris, isn't it? It is. An inch is an inch. Right, we now lead to the fourth hole, the final hole that goes along the ocean front. 440 yard par four stroke index one. This looks like it's going to play like an absolute beast. I think it's big dog, you know this. Oh, nice. For some reason, it started it off over the North Sea, but it's come back. Lovely. Surprisingly. Done all right. Did you huh? play for that little burner? I mean, it was close to a heel shank, but it, it's worked out <laughs> a treat. I'm going to be going to try and play like a low snap hooky toey ducker. That's a great shot, that. Not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Didn't turn back, but it'll do. Oh, yeah. I reckon I put 40 on you there. I would hope so with that <laughs> strike. I would hope so. Right, well, we don't need to talk too much about the distance on the drives, do we? Because it's just that one, two, mine was... three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. Oh, 40, I'd say you're in front of me there, James. We'll take yours. Thanks, mate. That's another one we're taking, though, of mine. Right, it's another chippy six, I think, you know, for the distance we've got. That's 150 there, isn't it? So, yeah. Player one fitty shot. Oh, there's some allotments over there. Is they? Get your name down. Small holdings, though. Anyone got a full allotment, half allotment here? Next to Levin and London. It's either really good today or really bad. You might need one of them fishing rods. Yeah, actually. it wasn't. Ah! I was thinking of allotments. What produce would you grow on your allotment? Definitely tomatoes. Hmm. It'd have to be seasonal, wouldn't it? Spring yeah. onions? Oh yeah, you can't beat spring onions. Swede? I'm not really a Swede fan. Maybe some wonky carrots. Yeah. No, it's a good job you're here. That's lovely. After what I did, that's pretty outstanding. We've got a chance. Great shot. Dovetailing. <laughs> Up the allotments. Riding the crest of a wave. Are we? Word for Chris's shot there. That is, you can see the pitch mark as well. That's exceptional. Mine's, I need to go and get mine. It's down there. It's not in the ditch, luckily, but. It's a shame it's not for an own ball birdie after that 40 yard drive past me. Or for an allotment. Up the allotment. Stroke one, this as well. Gaining on the field if we birdie this. Oh! Oh! Never moved. Did you push that or did it slide by? No, just didn't move at all. I had it just outside, so it's straight. Like the court of King Krakatus just passing by. Correct. Remember that from school? I can't remember that from school. Teach people different things in Barnsley. Ooh. 
Rocket to hold put on. some, that's what they teach us. Rocket. Two under. Okay guys, fifth hole, a scrumptious little par three, just over some gorse, a huge bunker in the way if you don't catch your tee shot. Stroke index 18, the easiest hole on the golf course. Potentially, we've just birdied the hardest hole on the golf course. Chris, take us away. There can't be many golf courses to go, stroke index one, then stroke index 18. No, comment below. Have you ever known it? Especially if they go to a scrumptious And I wonder how many three. people have had more shots on this one than that one. Oh, on that one? That's uh, Leaven Links over there. Leaven? Near the allotments. It's a great strike, but it's left. Yeah, it's flag high, it's going to be a long putt. It's just at that bush, isn't it, and let the wind bring it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, but... <clears throat> we'll cross myself. Oh, it's the shot. Stay Is there. it the length? Yeah, I think it is, you it know. good. Yeah. We'll have that. We'll have that. It plays. Lost my teeth peg. Oh, no. Got it, Chris. Thank God for that. Didn't break, though. The last thing you want to do is leave one behind when it's not broken. What a gorgeous par three this is, by the way. I honestly think there's something about playing golf in slightly more difficult conditions that focuses your mind a little bit. We're two under par, Chris. Some say this was a scrumptious hole. It's a scrumptious little par three. But I think the best par threes in the world are around this distance and have this personality behind them, not just 230 yard slogs. We have this for another birdie. I've had a bit of that harder if I'd have known. I know, it doesn't Needs to take that ridge, doesn't it? I didn't think it had as much green, did we? No. Yeah. Through the break, one would yeah, say. It was positive. I mean, it was positive. <laughs> Tell you what, Chris. Go, go, go! It was turning. Not very positive. No, it wasn't. Good line. It's the same score on stroke index 18 as we had on stroke index 1. But stroke oh. index 1 was three times the distance. Hmm. Please use the viewing tower. Oh. I'd rather you than me up there, Chris. What we got? Oh, gee. We've got a rocky viewing tower, I can tell you that. Some would say you should have took the camera with you, but... Uh, it's all clear, the green, it's a little bit of a dog leg to the right here, so you want to be just right of that post, or fading it off the post. And this is, of course, the sixth hole, 325 mm. yard, par four stroke index nine. All right, go driver. We even started the drone footage for you there, Chris. Oh. You go steady down there. I was going to say, wonky carrots. And if you'd like to take a look over there, there are the fantastic allotments. Hopefully they've had a lot of great produce this year how much do you reckon a year eight quid oh yeah it's extortionate these days maybe a tenner or hit it to the left of it i mean i think it'll be open i struck it well <laughs> we'll take the positives yeah that's nice that's to the right of it nice little chase we hope as my driver is up in the rough just there, it's not a great angle in, although it's a shorter shot. So we're going to go with Chris's, I think, which is on the right-hand side of the fairway. Can we make another birdie and get to three under par? I need to do the walk of shame and walk backwards here to Chris. Right, this could be the first time of the day for the Sky Forger it's wedge is what we're going with. Outing. I have gone 56, for the 56. 12 degree bounce. Land it. Probably you could land this short, you know, and let it release down certainly could. to that back flag. Oh, Spin. that's too good. Spin. Too good. It's downwind, Chris. That is criminal. Too good. Criminal. Oh, I'll play it a bit safer, but I'm going to go, like, right side of it. Two under. That's a great flight. Oh. See how much that grabbed? That's what I needed mine to <laughs> It's safe. We'll take it. It's safe. It's I'll tell you what, did incredibly well to miss this swale here. I found my other ball. It wasn't very pretty in there, but at least we have a chance. Chris has finished all the way down there. You would not want that, would you, in a medal? I'd be putting it if I was in a medal. See how close you'd get? That's the fear. 
stay there. I thought that was going to come back. <laughs> this to get to three. Target's nine, isn't it? Well, ten, officially. Target is ten to take the lead. What's the best at the turn? Five or six. Straight at it. That'll do. Three under through six. Tell you what, guys, I've put this putter back in the bag today. We're actually filming this in September, so you might not have changed your putters a little bit. But so far, so good. I've changed my putter, it's not working. <laughs> you out of wine gums yet? Out of wine gums, out of Yorkie. Out of hope. Yeah, I've got some iron brew left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seventh hole, the burn. Par four, 272 yards, short and pokey. You do not want to be missing this fairway. You can see this is a stunning looking hole once you get over the blind peak. Let's go with a driving iron, I think, here. Get it in play. With three under par, we're doing way better than I anticipated we would be, but it does feel like that wind has subsided. Is that a word? So that's a subside. I'll go with that. Nearly. So that might not be far away because if that pitches at 220, which it could do, downwind, firm fairways, that is what the 101U was made for. Let's see where that's gone. That is so nice, Chris, that. That ball flight's stunning. A delightful strike there. Obviously, with us filming this in September, we've only just got these as well. Yeah. Very much in, I'm surprised you've not gone with a three or a two. No, I'm not a fan. Well, I just don't like a two iron, but I think a four iron is nice. A three iron I've hit very well. Two iron I did, but I find it goes just as far as a uh, five would. A short hole, but I'm not sure if mine's maybe in the little ravine. In the damn burn? Yeah, Chris. <laughs> They're playing tonight, aren't they? They are. The mighty Newcastle are playing at Milan, I think, tonight. Neither of us are Newcastle fans, but the fair Magpies. play to them. The Magpies right. back in the Champions League. Some lovely picket fencing going on there. It's like a ranch. It is. Maybe is that that hotel we thought about staying in? No, it's after. It's before that. I'm assuming this is you, is it? That is me. Mine was like lower and more penetrating, wasn't it? Is it in? In the Dan. Bottom? Is there? A, oh, there is in the bottom of it as well. Look. It it's steep. Oh, there she is. Is she in it? Right. Well, we'll pick it up at least. We will, on the way past. Silly that we didn't see that, but we've not got a course guide, have we? <laughs> no, we haven't. And we're doing the drone footage after today. Yeah. So we're keeping you on your toes. All right. What are you looking at? There's something over that hill. I didn't know what kind of... Is it a monster? Is it a monster? Could be big pup. Sean, Sean if you're watching. Are you? Comment below. Have right. you found so it? here, Chris, we need a little bit of a delicate touch. We do. You've got the artillery, you've got the weapon. Show us the skill. Right. This is for an own ball birdie if you get this close. 40 yards? Yeah. Probably too close, realistically. It's more like a 7 iron off this tee. Yellow card for the flag. What a shot. Well, it didn't go exactly how I planned. I did expect it to go 60 as well. I know, 60. How dare I? <laughs> right. You duffed that as well. Well, I mean, there's no well about slightly it. Slightly mistimed. Supposed to be on the same team. Duffed it, how dare you? How that, dare you? I honestly thought we've not had a Steven yet, have we? We've not had a Steven on the channel yet. He's, however, on screen now, though. I'm going to go a bit more, you know, like try and get it spinning. That's what I actually tried oh, right. and failed. Mine was the classic good bad one. Oh, that was very good. Shame about Surely that's direction. a ridge. Surely that's a ridge. I thought that was a Liam Ridgewell. <laughs> He's here all week. <laughs> Literally, we are. <laughs> Scotland. Here he goes. We've caught them. We've, we've caught them lovely gentlemen up in front. Here he goes, the walk of shame into Dan. Oh no. Oh, he, oh. oh. 
Oh, I thought it was going back in. I thought you needed to go and get the pole. No, we don't need the pole. Luckily, we never leave a good seed behind, do we, Chris? We certainly don't. It's a nice, easy downhill putt. Mine's probably a little bit closer, but a bit more turn on mine, James. Mine's closer, isn't it? I'd say there's not much in it, but I think yours is an easier putt. Well, we'll go with it, Christopher. I don't mind taking my shots, you know. We're going with it. I feel like the hero today. We're going with it. This is just outside left. Green's rolling wonderfully, actually. They certainly are. Oh, the flag's out, he's not happy. It's a white flag, so we'll lay it down. After it stopped my ball going in, he's not happy with it. Very contrasting houses up there, look at that. Old and new. Yeah, that's very modern, isn't it? It is. Gabion's there as well, he used to, used to build those back in the day. Oh, he doesn't miss with this putter. Why, he took it under. out. Well, never four know. under par. I should never take this out, should I? No. He shouldn't, but for some reason, you do. you do. Okay, guys, eighth hole, 355 yards. We're playing downwind now, par four, stroke index seven. Out of bounds, all down the right-hand side. You can't miss this to the right. Well bunkered at driver distance. If you can get there today, it's going to take a big one, but we haven't had an eagle just yet. We have not. Could I have a ball, please? There you go, sir. Right. We're four under par, it. Chris. Wait, and we're going for it. What is the, the record? Six, is it? I think so. And then we always slow down on the back a bit, haven't we? Yeah, we start to fatigue. The wine gums wear off. Wear off. But I've bought two packs. Oof, who knows again? Oh my, that is at it. Missed that bunker. It's down there. It's position A, isn't it, I think? I'll even leave you the tea. Oh, thanks, mate. Another one gone. Right. right. My anxiety doesn't play up here because I'm not going to carry it 360 to them on the left, am I? To those gentlemen right there. I'm just going to send this because you're down there, aren't you? Give it everything. All 90 miles an hour of it. Well, that's a cracking strike. So straight at that bunker again. I think they're fine, you know? we're going to have about 50 yards in. Ooh. Chris, I don't like the way this is looking. No. Me, Nate. Oh, no. Oh, there's one here in I the can see one. Thing. I can see two. Oh. You know what? We, it's okay. not driver there, what, is what it? What number are you? Another Dan. You're a four, I think, because I gave you mine. It's another Dan. Uh, yeah. This is a really well thought out golf course, isn't it? That's a four. That's you, so that's me down there. Yours is a better lie anyway. Yeah, think, with so. my 90 club head speed. 20 past you, lol. You must have got that, as, as David Ledbetter once said, you must have got that plenty of mass behind it. Let's not get nasty now. This is a four as well, you've conned me. <laughs> you've got another four out to do that. Play this as mine for an own ball birdie. I'll tell you which is mine because it's got a black T mark on it. Oh, has it? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely yours, that. That's yours, that. And then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely mine. I don't, yeah. Oh, you know what? If it makes you make an own ball birdie, then you can. Right, I'm going to go 56 here. Tricky pin that at the front. I think you just land this short and bump it up, don't you? Yeah. Just over that ridge. Yeah. Shot. Oh. Oh, can oh. that go? Oh. Well, I thought I played that well. Obviously not. Yeah, but I'm going to actually pitch it in line with... You see that window you can see through the trees? Yeah. In line with that. That one right there. That's a great shot. Just that one didn't come round. No. Got a chance. Right. We've not covered ourselves in glory. No, there's plenty left. Which one looks the easier putt? Probably mine, you know. Yeah. Yeah, just a bit shorter and less break on it. Yeah, there's not much in it, is there? there? Why don't you have a roll and then I shall go and collect my ball. Shows you that because we were too close, weren't we? Too close and in the rough. Not the combination you want for this front flag. It might have been all right if it was at the back. And downwind. It's 
It's a pace that really. Yeah, it's literally just a cup right. I'll get you ball. We're pretty safe for the four. We are. Club strewn all over the green here on the eighth green at London Golf Club. Oh, what? How? Oh. How? to change again. He's a four. <laughs> okay, ninth hole, par five, 555 yards. You would definitely have made this stroke index five, so it's all the fives, but is in fact stroke index three. Chris, we haven't had an eagle on the channel yet in this series. Is today the day? Great drive, kick things off, that's at the post. Is that a bunker there? Uh, Short of it though, we're all right. It does look like a bunker, but I absolutely feathered that one. Do you have my ball? I do have your ball, number four. Missed touch. Oh, ankle. <laughs> Out for the season. Try to try and go tighter right and see if it gives us a better line. Yeah. Because you're in there, aren't you? Um, I'm in the mixer. Ball just hit it, 20 yard left of you. Yeah, I mean, it's a great strike. It is, I'm going to take the strike all day. That's your line. How far do you think we've got here? I think we've got a long way, Chris. That was a, a lovely drive. I love that house. The more I see that house, I think, oh yeah. It's a nice house. Gorgeous house, right. Didn't work with the garden? Yeah. No allotment, though. No, the allotments are all the way up there. 250-ish? Um, yeah. Probably a bit more, actually. We're into the wind. We are. Driving, Ian. I've gone for the three. You're the other one. Are they? Yeah. <coughs> Gone for the three. Oh dear. It's a good layup, son. I mean, I've struck it all right, but it's a big block. It's just playing all its yardage, this, isn't it? There's no real point trying to muscle anything. It's a big Michael block. That's another one up to the right. I think that's your line, though, isn't it? Because it's going to then come in. It is. Right, two friendly ones. I'll take this one, although it has got a little bit of uh, a passenger on it. Into there. This has played really long, this hole. Yeah, it's two good strikes and we've still got 80 yards. I'm going to play the magical chippy 9-9 again. I know it's only about 80 yards, but I want to caress one in. Right. It's not one where you go aerial, this is it? I'm going to go 52. Try and flight one in. When did we switch personalities? Oh, that is so good. Just be the number. Oh, Chris. Ah, oh, he stopped on a dime as well. Great shot. That'll be for an own ball birdie, won't it? Oh. What is the the one this week? I think it's got to be. We're nowhere near the horny badger anymore. No, we need to find a new establishment. That's a nice shot as well. That's long. Well, not a bad shot though. Double diviter. That man actually wasn't too long, but oh, I missed it. Chris's was an absolute beauty. That to get to five under for the front nine. Just can't catch that. You should have to do that all the time. Just to be. I was going to race to it then, first up, best dressed, but I'll, I'll give you the honours. Oh, thank you very much. See if you can actually hold one with this putter. Hello. The fans will have seen the last three weeks I've had three different putters. I had the ping out last time. Yeah, I mean, that was an absolute atrocity, weren't it? That didn't go great. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go back to the Odyssey, which I actually did just forget this trip. Well done. That is five under par for the front nine here at London Golf Club. All to play for on the back. You yeah. look perplexed. Well, I mean, there's just obviously that's for that tee box. That, uh, see the little. Yeah, we're uh, not going over that. I think our line's probably just over that bunker. Yeah. Deceiving. Right, three iron. Three iron, 101 U. Absolute bullet. There's another one just to the right. I mean, it's absolutely perfectly in play, but it's... I was about to say it's in the fairway, it's that wide, but it's not in the fairway. And I've just realised that's a different hole. Yeah, well, that is so a different fairway. It wouldn't it? have been the right fairway. 
you see that old bloke's face when I said, do you mind if we fly through here? You're going to be like, yeah, yeah, no worries, old bloke. like, oh, what have you been through? We mean, we've got a boozer to get to. Can I fly that bunker with this? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a great shot. Just left of that bunker, actually, which would be perfect. Yep. Position A. A. It wasn't going to fly it, though, was it? <laughs> no, it definitely wasn't. Right, Chris, we're on the back nine. We're in a new pack. What Green. would you say? Green? I think orange. Oh, it's black. Black, red, black, orange. I'm not going to put three in at once because last time I had a sugar rush. So. Oh, is a oh, oh, kick camera. You take those three, my oh, friend. Oh, I'm not having three. Ooh. Right. It'll all end in tears <laughs> on the ten. Not like Mallorca yet. Oh, it would have easily carried it sort of, I think. Yeah. This is uh, got to go under the walk of shame to pick his up. Hopefully we can get through this group in front and fly around. We're losing daylight now, actually. Is that that time of year? A little bit cooler. Oh, he's giving it the push. He's oh, off. And we're off. At the races. <laughs> and this is what we're left with. I have played here before, but I don't remember much of it. But you're warmed up now, aren't you? Sweating already. That under armour's not going to last all week then, is it? <laughs> no. That's nice. What have you gone with? That was that nine iron. Struck it gorgeously. Oh, it's yeah. a Damien. It's a Damien. They're all looking on that tee and he's absolutely <laughs> it. Pressure. Oh dear. Pressure's got to me. How do you feel? It's after that run, I think. <laughs> that is shameful. It, yeah, there's nothing else you can say about it. Right. Mine's finished short, Chris, as well. I thought that would have covered it plentifully. Mm. I mean, mine was bad, but yours wasn't much better. Halfway there and just check. Well, I'm going to see what you do. Nice motion. Oh, it was a debatable choice, but I'll tell you what, not bad. Not bad. It's not good, but... <laughs> yeah. Right, we've not made a bogey yet, but this is as close, potentially, We've ever come on the channel, 10th hole at London. London. Been ever so well today. Yeah, it's just outside right, nice pace. Don't even worry about it. We don't make bogeys on here. Side door. Birdie. Side door? Birdie, it's home. You're that guy, aren't you? Birdie, it's home. Well, you didn't use the middle of the hole. I didn't use any of the hole. <laughs> Saving mine. That's like still four under par. 311 now, is it? 311, yeah. Five under. Are we five? Oh, we've birded the eighth, the ninth. We've birded the ninth. We are. Sorry, we're five under. I'm Apologies. Worried, Apologies. Okay, 11th hole, 464 yards, par four, stroking next to the second hardest hole on this golf course. You need to get your drive away here. This is an absolute brute off the tee. And of course, well bunkered down that right hand side. It's all about getting the drive away here and hopefully leaving yourself a mid to long iron in to this beautiful par four. Chris, leave us away. Oh, just an iron brew for some extra energy. Da, 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 da. Ooh. Do you mind if we go through, boys? Yeah, no problem. Three hours later. Oh, sorry, there was just never a chance. We didn't see a gap. <laughs> uh, there were only seven holes clear in front of us, and we didn't think really you were going to make up any ground. We didn't feel like you were pushing us. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies if you are the people in front of us and you are watching this in uh, November. No, February. Might even be March. Never felt like you were pushing us that much. Right. This, all of it, Chris. At him on the left, yeah? Yeah, that's your line. <clears throat> Cut. Cut. Well, it has done. That's in the fairway, that. It is in the fairway, yeah. They're actually like... looking back, but I can't imagine that's anywhere near them. Oh, that is massive. 
Just keep cutting now. Take a kick right. Oh, I think the, the rough might just slow that down, you know. Just took my waterproof off and it started to rain. <laughs> so I'm more disappointed about it. Not that rough. I'm a, I've took my waterproof off. <laughs> Spitting. Look at it. We'll put them back on. I just packed them away. So the furthest point away from the clubhouse. We are. You're right. <laughs> Although there's some greenhouses just there. It's just another one 30 yards past Chris and in the fairway. Well, that rough's all they took, like you said, on the TJ. Yeah, have, you've got it fairway, haven't you? Must have plugged and stopped That's that one. That's the key, fairway. Right, just being given a big four shout. It's got to be eight, hasn't it? Oh, Randomly, I thought I brought evens or odds, and I've got eight and nine, so I don't know what I've done. No, I did notice that. Just a nice one. Yeah, just a nice splited one. That guy's got a mini umbrella on his bag, look. That's special, that. Isn't I think it? Jamie's got a hat with one of those on. Be good. Be good. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, it's long. Long. It's long. I can't Don't believe that. Strength. Oh, that looks nice as well. Oh, that's really good. Did you just take a bit off that? Just a bit off it. Great shot. Just like my drive. <laughs> yeah, all right. That, Chris, is a lovely shot. You took a bit off it, maybe a bit too much, but mm -hmm. I didn't help you by sending mine just a bit long. It was all over the flag as well. It needed to be a little bit more receptive. It was down breeze, it's a long hole. The fact we've hit a tight in just shows how big the drive was, really. Oh, it was massive, James. I don't know how you can contain yourself sometimes. Well, I can't kind of look at where that eight times gone. Uh, animal, some would say. Oh, it's short again. Short again. <laughs> I mean, it was a good roll. Foot outside is perfect, just not on that pace. Oh, it's a good line. Has he got the legs? Oh, he was up and after it. Not got the legs. Quite deceiving actually, it's uphill at the end, but still five. Hmm. Right guys, 12 hole par three, stroking at 17, the second easiest hole on this golf course. We didn't birdie the easiest hole, but we did birdie the hardest hole. 150 yards, playing slightly uphill, an incredibly well bunkered green again, and plenty of runoffs if you don't quite strike your iron properly. Chris, try not to hit it on the road. The road will be on later on to St. Andrews. It's a delightful strike. Go a bit. Oh, yeah. That's got to be perfect, hasn't it? It landed on the upslope and everything. I think so. Should be pin high, just to the Did right. you take a bit off that? Took a bit off, yeah. Wasn't a full It's a similar one. shot to the last one, isn't it? Yeah, I played it very similar. That's good. It's a good line. Oh, that could be good. I'll tell you what. I'll tell that was you what, what I didn't quite strike, but I was quite happy I didn't strike it, if that makes sense. The old good bad one. Oh, yeah, I love a good bad one with a good old Tacomo 301 CB. Oh. Not sure you get the same with the MB, but anyway. I don't miss strike them. Oh, I'll Ooh. tell you what, Chris. Moment of truth. Oh, yeah, two pretty good That's ones. A tough pin. I'm glad we didn't go at it. You could quite easily be on the old road into London town. Well, not London Town, but London Links Town. Randomly, the village is called London Links as well. Hmm. Drive safely. Yeah. I think it's whichever one that one is. It's a bit further, it's straight up the hill. I think that's me with a bit of backspin. Would you say that's you? Yeah. You were on a bit of a straighter line, wasn't you? That is a sneaky flag, isn't it? It is. Straight up hill here. Uphill. This to get to six. <laughs> stroke is horrible, that. Yeah, it was. I didn't want to say anything. It wasn't the best stroke I've ever made, but it's pretty good for a par. I was going to stay a mute to that. Oh, the next hole looks a good hole. Yes. <laughs> Solid. You know, when you feel like, I don't even feel like I'm doing anything with my stroke, I feel like I'm just trying to hit it a certain distance, and when you can do that, that's generally hole puts. That's six under par, three more birdies, we're top of the leaderboard. Incredible seat.
I'm going to fade it off the left. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Famous last words. Oh, you know what? I might not even bother. What a shot. I'll do. Where's that been? I don't know where that's been, to be honest, but that's been lost for about three weeks as well, that. I'll tell you bite. what, we might not be taking yours though. What about that? That's down the middle stripe. Oh! Shot. Oh, get through with these and we're off. I always think when a group lets you through, you just want to hit a good one, don't you? Like, you don't want to scythe it or put it through the quality fish van. Last thing you want to do. Six under. Can we get top of the leaderboard? The weather gods so far have been good to us. And that is a man who knows that I've just put 60 on him down in the middle of that fairway. <laughs> Yes, please. Oh, he's not happy. He's booting it up there. Right, this makes the hole a little bit more attackable. Eagle here, and we're one off the lead. Right. Any idea? About 220, well, 230, I reckon. I reckon that's 200. I'm going to hit that two iron then. Just a nice fade off those trees, or just a low one funneling through. Just straight in the middle of the green. A great shot. Oh, divot that is obliterated. That's right hand side of the green. It's a long putt, but it is a putt. Oh, jeez. That's a good job out of those trees. <laughs> it's not a lost ball, <laughs> but we'll get out of these gentlemen's way. Thanks, guys. It's almost like these seed balls are impossible to lose. We're not leaving him behind. Nope. Even though it might have a pine mark on. Not bad. Waves on. Right, and this is what we have. Can we chip in for the first Stephen of the entire series? Minimum birdie here, Chris. I've duffed that. It's actually done quite well. Not your best. Right, 52 for me. James has actually done well to say. Spin, spin, spin! I'll take James's. I was a bit aggressive after his. We've made a dog's dinner of that one, Chris. We have. This to get to. Oh. This to get to six. Oh, we hit six. This to get to seven. This to get to seven. I think he got it. Great effort. Go on then, Chris! <laughs> you have to put that in the bag. I need to go back to my Odyssey full time. Right, that is seven under, and there is plenty of golf left to be played yet. Right, I was almost going to say we've let ourselves down there. You know when you get let through and you kind of just rush a little bit, we hit good drives and then a good approach and just mess those chips up. Next hole, 13th hole, par... Is it 13th or 14? 14. 14th, we're flying round. Ugh, come on. It's trying. It is trying. That's actually done a lot better than what I anticipated. Good shot. Yeah, it tried. Just a little draw in to that flock. It's a great shot. Not really the draw. You know what, for us both to hit those the perfect yardage, I think it's exceptional. All about the yardage. That is two pretty good chances. Not a bird in mind being the closest. I've had a nightmare, Chris, there. Look at Wheels that. have gone, lots oh, gone. Oh dear. Top heavy, that's the problem. A left to right, a big green. It's a massive green, isn't it? This is it's actually quite close considering how big this green is. Mm. Oh. I honestly really. thought I had another one then. <laughs> well, more putts today than the rest of the season put together. Right, where was it? Um, two cups left, nice pace. Oh, I forgot the good pace bit. 
three. We'll take a three on there. Okay, 15th hole, par four, stroke index four, 417 yards. We're on the home stretch now, back towards the clubhouse. You can see the weather really coming in as well. A well bunkered hole up the right hand side. A drive wants to just go down at the left, but there is internal out of bounds down the left, which we do not want to be facing. Chris is going away with a driving iron. Send it away. Oh, it's a slip in the weather. Safe though. Safe, but terrible. This has come a race against time, hasn't it, and the weather. It has, it's closing in on us, exactly like the forecast said though. That's a great ball. We need to birdie the last three, and we are top of the leaderboard. So guys, for me, 15 holes in here at London Links. This is another great example of why we wanted to bring you this series of the next best 100 golf courses in the UK and Ireland. I think there's some real hidden gems, pardon the pun, I know that's a real overused term, but a lot more affordable golf courses, achievable to play golf courses. And to be honest, I find you get a warmer welcome at these golf courses as well, as opposed to some of the courses inside the top 100. Can we birdie the last three holes? Can we get to the top of that leaderboard and overtake Gothic Links? Get in the comments below if you're still here, guys. Have you enjoyed watching so far? I'm a bit out of breath. Chris, are you, are you warm? I'm warm, but wet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Oh, it's the beauty of Lynx Golf, because I would have had that ball down the left side of the fairway, but because these huge swales... We're down the right. We've got about 135 in. Wedge? Yep. Must be another par three coming up. We only had is it three? Three or two. Three, one in the corner, one down the hill, and the fifth. Oh uh, yeah, three. Right, I'm gonna try and cut up a bit of a nine, Chris. That's a nice shot. Isn't it? Oh, what a bounce. That's definitely pitched into the front of the green. Yeah. There's a guy whizzing past here on an electric Flying bike or scooter. But he's cold. Slow it down. Speed kills. Oh, it's all over it. Be good. Oh, it's took a lovely kick left to it as well, Chris. If that's the distance, that could be very close. We needed to bird the ball to get top. Two birdies to tie the top with Goswick Links. Very similar course, actually, to, to Goswick Links. It is, yeah. They all go in like it's all. They're all very close together, but don't get in each other's way, do they? Right, you put them back, mate. That weather is properly coming in now. Three holes left. Small side note, we don't need to bird them all. If we bird them all, we would be at 11, but we've hit two absolute beauties in there, coming together in the rain on the back nine. Ooh, yeah. Right, if that's me, that could be for an own ball birdie. Let's go. It's another one. I'm really enjoying myself today. <laughs> Eight under, three to go. One birdie left to tie it. Oh, that's, you know what? That sums up my day, that. We are a team, though. True, eight under. Teamwork makes the dream work. A couple more birdies. I wouldn't, if you'd have said this on the first tee with how windy it was, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have expected it at all. Let's get to the top of that leaderboard. 16th hole, par four, stroke index 13, just 311 yards. We can see a slight dog leg to the left, incredibly well bunkered down the right, and a hazard running through the middle of this fairway. I think the safe play for a driver, is it here? I mean, after the last <laughs> shot I hit, I'm just going to hit driver anyway. Okay, I'm going to hit driver as well. Do we think it's that one on the left then, towards that white building? Yeah. Not that, not that far left. No. Definitely not that. I think that's the internal out of bounds we spoke about. Oh dear. Come on your tea, please. Wheels are falling off. We're a team, Chris. We've just birded the last hole. I need to find something for the last two. Although I could, I could hold this putt when you knock it on the green. Good line. I think that's so good. Yeah, chipping a putt. Come on! One, two, well, I'll tell you what, you know what's going to cheer you up? Oh, we haven't had any wine gums. Don't leave James in charge of the wine gums. Right, come on. 
That's which one we got? Green. Oh, you joke. That's not what we need. Two in a row. Double green. Double. And a black. Oh, no. What about a red? We. There we go. I've read the black. I'm going to go three to try and get some energy. When your partner hits it out of bounds and you have to step up and hit that one to the green side, yes, please. That's one of the best swings I've put on one under a tiny bit of pressure for quite some time. Chipping a putt for a birdie to get level tied with the top of the leaderboard. Two holes left as well. Come on! Wimbledon. New balls, please. Oh, how disappointed are you? New balls. It's like that one we had on the par five, isn't it? It is. That ran out a lot more than I, I thought it would. I thought that was going to go left off that slope, but it's not done. It's another attacking one. Spun a bit. Robinson has another putt for an own ball birdie. That would be two in a row. And Chris is, you know what? I might get smashed tonight. I don't know how you're going to have to buy. We're up early tomorrow for oh, Lady Bank. Exactly. You can't be doing that. I mean, it never started left edge, but it was bang in the middle. Great putts. Great birdie. You know when you have one of those days where you just feel like you can't miss? I'm trying, to be honest, I'm trying not to overthink them and just hit them. My partner is pleased for, as I can tell. That's nine under, that's tied top of the leaderboard with two holes to spare. Even though it's raining, I am absolutely buzzing. Chris, how buzzing are you? Oh, I'm fired up now. Wine gums are kicking in, let's go. 17th hole, 343 yard par four, stroke index 12, a blind tee shot over that stake, as you can see, more internal out of bounds to the left, a really well bunkered fairway once you get over there. So what, these seed gloves have been fantastic in the rain, haven't they? They are. The full Irish. Twice we've had them out in the rain and twice they've performed. It's not the glove that is holding back my game, I don't think. I think it's the mentality. It's gone. We've lost it. Until this goes on the green. Oh, it's straight over the marker. It's like I'm on the march down the final stretch of a major. Right. Sad, sad I know, but it's as close as we're ever going to get. True. Oh, I tell you what. Oh, that's straight over the marker. <laughs> oh, yes. We're what back. a shot. You might even smile after that. I don't know if that's... Look at that. I mean, it's a bit towards the toe, but it's normally been there. It's better than it has been. Or there. Oh, the sun's coming out there. Oh, rainbow time. Well, they are the two drives you want when you need two birdies on the closing hole. So if we need two, we need one. We're nine under, tied for the lead. Can't see us making a bogey. We are on fire. Well, I shouldn't have said that really, but... Um, let's see if we can make up a birdies, Chris. The last hole is actually quite tight, isn't it? It is very tight. I don't know if it's a par five or four. Probably four, actually. All right, we'll take the left-hand drive a bit further up. Right, Chris, as the rain pours down, audio gone because we can't ruin hmm. all the equipment, but over to you. Is this your drive? It is my drive. Puts an end to my own ball birdie train. 52. Great shot. We're just thriving. We're, th we're dovetailing. Oh, back in action. Dovetailing and we're thriving. Back in the game. 56 there. It's a good shot. It's online. Pretty good. Yeah. I really feel like this is a grind now for these last few holes. If we weren't on a little bit of a birdie run, things would be... You wouldn't be feeling it, would you? No, morale would be down. But instead, it's fired up. Uh, it's your, Chris, this is, for an, this is for an own ball birdie to Out tie the lead. Nowhere. We've never been 10 under par. Out of nowhere after my last few holes. Oh! Now depressing. <laughs> Unbelievable. The footer is 
Stone Cold Steve Austin. That is 10 under par. Did you duff that? No, I didn't duff it, but I can't count how many putts I've held today. I am absolutely on fire. I thought, I thought he took a divot, to be honest, but great putt. 10 under. Right, it all comes down to this, the 18th hole, par four, stroke index six, 439 yards, out of bounds, all down the left-hand side. The rain is now pouring down, but we are top of the leaderboard. All we need to do is par this hole to finish on top, but a birdie cements it. Got no tea. Oh. Oh, he's absolutely nuked it as well. Oh, unbelievable. We've dovetailed so well today. A little bit low on the face, but that should be a runner. Good angle in from there, so you can give it everything. And some more. I mean, it's on the first. You just can't go left, can you? You can't really miss this fairway. It's about 150 yards wide. I've had a go, though. Right, Chris, great drive. Mine was all the way down there. I've been and collected it. I think your shot here is like a draw off the big flag. Six iron, Ooh. MB. You just can't go left. You... Just to explain how dead left is, probably 10 yards left of the flag and you're out of bounds on the path. Well, that's absolutely safe as houses. Oh, it took a good kick as well. It's going to be a long putt, though. Extremely long. I feel like this is the first time in the series we've ever been at all defensive. You're safe, aren't you? So I might as well. Safe. Uphill putt. That is great if it chases, which it should. Yeah, that's the shot. You, you know what? Even there, I've gone out the flag and it's kicked away from the flag, hasn't it? Safe, good chance. Outside chance. Great linksy shot. So guys, as we walk up the 18th hole here at London Lynx Golf Club, apologies about the audio, but it's rained that much. I can't, we can't afford to get them wet. We're filming five episodes of this series this week. I can't wait to bring them to you. We're nine under par, 10 under par, we're 10 under par. Can we hold that to get to 11? Across that green. Really difficult 18 second shot this. Really difficult. I feel like this is the best we've played, definitely, 100 percent Do you feel like this is the best we've played? I think it's the best you've played. Don't you pull play yourself, we're a team. Today, James. Actually, you haven't really. You've putted well, I'd say. You've putted like a god today. No. Play it. He doesn't mess with this putter. Rocket Alcohol it. put son, that's what they teach us. Yes. I'll take it, it's better than what you normally say. The way today's gone, this should go in, shouldn't it? It should. Oh, you went over that mud, and oh, that's a great. Well, we know just outside that mud. Yeah, it should be perfect. It's another perfect pace put, isn't it? Something on it today. And that, some. Have you brought another putter for this trip or not? Do you know what? That is terrible. <laughs> Absolutely. What was that? Do you know what the line was, not bad? Right, that. He's 10 under par at London Lynx Golf Club. What a venue that's been. I've absolutely loved that. Guys, if you enjoyed that, smash that subscribe button below. Every Sunday, we are bringing you a course of the next 100 best courses, and that's gonna take some beating. 10 under par, top of the leaderboard. I've loved that, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out Chris's channel for the most difficult shot we've found today while he goes and dries out and uh, cheers up. Anyone want to buy a putter? Price.